Today I'm going to say some serious things. These are not just words that will be forgotten after the cake is cut. These statements are nothing to be taken lightly and are in no way a simple formality. These words I say before God and these people are binding for the rest of my life. A vow is defined as an unbreakable promise and in that the most intimate covenant two humans can make. So, I vow today before our friends and family to always love you. On January 12th, 2016, I met you for the first time. Needless to say, when God brought you into my life, He exceeded my expectations in every way imaginable. Our fairy tale is my favorite because it has shown me that life doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. I love our story because God's love and faithfulness is intricately woven into each and every page. You are the answer to my longest prayer. All I ever wanted was to marry a beautiful woman who loved Jesus and would go on the craziest adventures with me. I'm getting that and so much more. I'm getting to marry my best friend. just a feeling but a choice, I vow to choose you today and every day for the rest of our lives. I vow to fight for you and to love you for the man you are today and the man you will become with each passing year. I vow to keep Jesus, our Savior, the center of our lives. I vow to sacrificially serve you for myself. I vow to lead you not just towards happiness, but towards holiness. I vow to value you as the necessity that you are to my life. I vow that the only thing that will separate me from you is death. The first time Joey ever saw Brenna, she was worshiping on the stage at Mosaic and singing uh, a beautiful worship song. And a few days later, when they met for the first time, Joey's big line was, hey, are you the girl with the angel voice? And it worked because here they stand as a way to both surprise her husband and dedicate their relationship to a life of worship. He might start here on their wedding day the same place that their relationship began. I vow to constantly pursue and lean into Jesus so that I may look more like Him and love you better with each passing day. I vow to pursue true joy with you for the rest of our lives. I charge you to make your home a place where you will have a refuge from the storms of life. Let it be a haven for the weary and a convincing testimony of God's love to us, to a cynical world. There is no greater joy I can think of than knowing that I get to be your wife. After a lifetime of seeking out the next great adventure, I have found the greatest adventure in loving you and knowing that because God is for us, nothing in this life can stand against us. Now, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce you husband and wife. Joey, you may kiss your bride. It is my true honor and privilege to present to you for the very first time in history 
Mr. and Mrs. Joey and Brenna Quant. Say the